Scarlet. The Silly Scarlet. Okay, so in the ca around the three trees at the ca Alston Estate, What'd you can you find these ridiculous pamphlets of the Scarlet Crusade. First, the first one is the Cursed Old Wolf. We all know that Anduin Rin is a traitor to his race and does not deserve to be king. These facts are indisputable. So who should be king? For now, there's only one answer. Gen Greymane. Yes, we must rally behind a shape-shifting monster cursed by a night elf plague to spend half his life as a beast. Why? Because as for all his many flaws, Greymane hates the Forsaken. He wants the Banshee dead. His goals align with ours, and he has the forces to get the job done. But do not worry, brothers and sisters. Greymane is not a long-term solution. We will follow him only until the undead are wiped out. Then we'll bring down Greymane and turn our blades upon the rest of his cursed kind. Jeez, these scarlet harlots. Talk about betrayal. It will be a challenge to hide your disdain for the Mongol worgen, but we must do ooth, ooth it for a time, brothers and sisters. Once Lordaeron is, Lord is free from undead filth, the Scarlet Brotherhood will finish the job and ensure that only pure-blooded humans hold this land. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what they're planning, but that's not going to work. The would-be queen. We all know that Terranus Menethil was the last true liege of Lordaeron. In fact, he was the, the last great king in all of Azeroth. Sadly, he was murdered by a son who had come, become obsessed with undeath. The same prince who slaughtered so many of our loved ones and raised them up as monsters. Yet we clung to one hope, for the Menethil dynasty Menethil's dynasty to live on. Princess Kalia, the last living heir of King Terranus. Sadly, that hope has been taken from us by a dark conspiracy by, led by one of our own. Ooh, where's this going? Though she was serving as a humble priestess, this Kalia Menethil was destined to reign in Lord Daron one day. The people of this great land would have risen up and helped her fight for her for the throne and when Rin knew this he feared such a challenge to this reign so he set about to bring her down okay i don't remember that the boy king conspired with the bi and she he herself to arrange a meeting between the living and the un in the dead under a false flag of truce, Traitor Rin seduced the Banshee into staging a fake massacre to lure her out the good-hearted Princess Kalia. Then the Traitor King had our princess murdered, but that was not the end of Anduin's foul scheme. No, he had his Banshee. Actually, Rin's Kalia is a lich, Practically, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Banshee lover. Anyway, why? Because the traitor king is obsessed with the dead. He plans to marry Kalia and secure his right to the throne of Laird or Daron. The Scarlet Brotherhood will not allow us this to happen. We will bring down the traitor king and his undead pup puppet. With tears in our eyes, we will burn the corpse of Princess Kalia. Upon her ashes, Lordaeron will rise to greatness. You gotta be kidding me with this. Where is this coming from? The last Menethil. Knowing that our dear Princess Kalia was assassinated by traitor Rin and raised as in dead is a pang in our hearts, brothers and sisters. But, but do not lose hope. King Terranus' dynasty will yet live on. It is a well-guarded secret that during the last days of her father's reign, Princess Kalia was in 
wed a noble woman of the Arathi bloodline. The prideful Arthas demanded that this truth remain hidden until he himself wed and sired an heir. Of course, that never came to be, but, but a child was indeed born. Princess Kalia gave birth to a son. Yes, an heir to the uh, Manithil throne. Um, it's a daughter. The lower says it's a daughter. You need to check your reading, Scarlet. Sadly, the princess was separated from her husband and child during a scourge attack. Her family was presumed dead. But let joy fill your heart friends, for the child was saved. The young princess was rescued by a good-hearted citizen of Lord Aaron. He has been kept sheltered and safe all these years Here's by members of the Scarlet Brotherhood. We have him in a secure location that must, for obvious reasons, remain secret. We have intended to reunite the young heir with his mother. Sadly, the traitor king of the Alliance had Princess Kalia murdered by a she lover. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. The uh, abomination that now walks this land is not Princess Kalia. Retribution will fall upon all these monsters. Lord Aron is for the living. Let hope rise. Eyes in your hearts, brothers and sisters. Once we have purged the undead filth and the cursed worgen from our homeland, the young king will be revealed. The traitor win will be exposed, and our true king will take the throne. The Menethil dynasty will be restored. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so that is all a lie. In the real lore... In Before the Storm, Calium and, well, basically everything, the opposite happened. <laughs> there was a forsaken meeting, and Calia was brought back an undead, but it was not Sylvanas, it was the light, and it was not a false flag. The Banshee killed her own forsaken. She will go to any length. Anyway, basically, you, I can't really film this for a lot of time. Oh, wait, there's another one. The Traitor King. You will have your own opinions on this. Feel free to go pick this stuff up anyway. Anyway, the current king of Stormwind pretends that he represents our interests. It's that he cares about us. He does not. Anduin Rin is unworthy of his name and heritage. He cares more about the undead than his living subjects. He has betrayed us all. It was the boy king who conspired with Sylvanas Windrunner to forge a pact between humans and undead. The meeting in the Rathi with... Uh, Highlands was a staged event to drum up sympathy, as who calls. You have heard stories that were s that the so-called Forsaken were killed by the Banshee. False. There was no massacre, but Anduin, Anduin wants you to believe there was. There actually was. Don't believe this Scarlet nonsense. Mm -hmm. Why hides it? Of the deception because he wants us to feel sorry for those monsters, to welcome them back into our lives, to give up the lands we fought so hard to hold on to. Lord Aron belongs to the living. It is our legacy. Do not be tricked by the false king. Thing. The Scarlet Brotherhood must bring an end to Anduin's puppet reign. Unite and rise up against his treachery? Now I've heard everything. Well... All of that's a lie. A lie, a lie, a lie. There was a meeting between the Forsaken and the humans. And you should really just read Before the Storm. But there really was a meeting. And it did not go down well. Sylvanas did murder the Forsaken. <laughs> and that... And that did happen. But she... No, I just, no. And see you next time. I'm, bye-bye.